the jury very much Taylor be able to record the upset. Referee Randy Jarvis calls for the bell and we are underway and immediately a manly attack has Broner on the ropes. And in this time, left hook by Taylor said, you know, I know Broner, Taylor only throw, averages himself about, I'm not gonna throw 90 punches around like Maidana, but I'm gonna throw more than Andrew Blue. Yeah, people paying money to watch professionals in the ring and yet their attention distracted as in the crowd is going the attack, a left hook to the body by Broner, counter right hand by Taylor. Don't move a lot. And the fight that Taylor and Chris Algieri, Algieri, who is a superb boxer that uses his feet, looked like Taylor was stuck in the mud a lot of times as Algieri got all first and then got out. Broner along the ropes. High guard, peekaboo guard, blocking most of those punches. Ropes too much in this fight. He is not like Floyd Mayweather. He didn't fight well off the ropes. Final minute of the first. Broner misses with the right short. Taylor. You know, because Emmanuel Taylor is forcing the fight, and here he is again getting off some good combinations. So Tonight's main event between Adrian Broner and Emmanuel Taylor. Taylor getting the best of this exchange as Broner misses with the uppercut, but clubs him with the right. He does not do a very good job of fighting going backwards, but this this fight he's actually got a lot of him is that check what took. It's a great point. Taylor can shots upstairs, although the left hook sneaks behind the guard. If Taylor can keep this pace up. Broner, they're using a lot of skill at close range. Exchanging body shots. Good shot by Emmanuel Taylor. Very good start to the round for Emmanuel Taylor. Left hook upstairs, blocked. Broner able to roll with that right hand, but he's along the ropes, gets pushed back with the right. Taylor by Broner. Counters with the left hook of his own. Broner misses with that sweeping left hook. A lot of skill by both guys in, at close yeah. range. Agreed. Little slip, slides, and some punches do land, obviously. By Adrian Broner. The counter left hook by Broner has been very, very effective. That's been his major yeah, yeah. one. He hopes that will open up that overhand right, which he's kind of landed, but he hasn't landed the perfect one yet. Part by Taylor in this round, especially in the last round, I thought. Left hook to the bottom. That left hook by Broner upstairs misses with oh, that. On the inside, it's making it a fun fight to watch. I agree. A lot of skill being shown here. No, boy, are you right about that? I think all of them should be 16. I don't know, Paulie Malinaji. Yeah. I apologize. Ten seconds left in the third round. Thirteenth appearance here as he lands that left hook. Distance against Broner, not putting him against the ropes. It's going to be much more. He's much more effective. There's a counter right by combination by Broder now getting busy the left hook behind the guard I got Taylor with the cut. and there's a clubbing right hand and another right hand by Broder And it was all set up because of Broner's boxing early in the round the the, with a jab to the bread basket One of the things Taylor's not doing is using angles Nothing, He's got to step to his left or his right if those kind of punches landed against him I think Lead he just, left hook to the body by Broner I think he just threw him off the stands up Keep in mind between rounds my staffer stressed to Adrian yeah. to box him box him 14, actually 17 more punches than uh, than Taylor. He shows flashes of brilliance, it just hasn't been consistent. And it's rounds like this that make you see just exactly. The histrionics we've seen in the past, Adrian Broner, all business. In attendance here tonight is Taylor and Broner, renew a number five with Taylor again going on the attack. Broner doing a good job. Of course that was Aaron Pryor. Right hand behind. Left hook. power punches oh. to four by Good Taylor, old. but Good now Taylor's not going to me, Taylor. Taylor told us that he felt Broner was underestimating him. And we should point out the fifth. Taylor going to the body with the left hook. In this fight. Broner along the ropes. They've been adhering to the Marcus of Queensbury. Oh, beautiful left. Just, he needs a guy getting sloppy despite the phone booth warfare. Again, Taylor starting out the round really fast. Broner trying to meet him with jabs, but Taylor starting out with a fast pace. If you're, he's a cut, do a better, little better job of cutting the ring off as Broner's able to cut the corner. Overhand. Broner, Broner tried to initiate a clinch. Taylor kept moving his arms. He did not accept the clinch, and he forced Broner into an uncomfortable situation. By Taylor, it's very effective. Broner's done some excellent body work himself. 
And we're coming to for his head. And is it for Broner? Hey, the same initials, right? Yeah, they're close. <laughs> Along the ropes, wanting to roll again with the shots, but there's an overhand right by Taylor. Glancing left hook off of Broner's face. But he's just not getting off punches. It is a good body shot from him, but Taylor ends the round. Take that overhand right. That's a punch that he, ends, that he needs to win definitively. Double jab to Broner's face by Taylor. To experienced ring official. Counter left hook to the body by Broner. Broner, a couple rounds, Broner had thrown more punches than uh, Taylor, but not anymore. In these last couple rounds, Taylor is throwing a lot more. And Adrian gets 30 seconds left in the seventh round. Broner just Another misses. round that's very close. Now Broner yeah, picks it up. And keep him from getting off any punches yeah. because Broner at a distance does not get off the same way. Taylor and misses with the right uppercut. But they continue. He was in the last round. You know, his foot movement was pretty darn good. More, not like what we're used to seeing. And you see there, he gave Mitchell a chance by Broner, despite the warning from both guys, from the referee. 90 seconds left in the eighth round. Broner along the ropes. This Taylor one. attacking the body. He's getting in control of the moment. Counter right hand there by Broner off the ropes. <laughs> Misses with that left uppercut, gets nailed with a couple of left hooks. Either way. That uppercut bounced off the glove of Emmanuel Taylor by Adrian. On both guys on the inside, just, you know, such skill zone shown from both guys. Fans very appreciative of what they've been treated to so far. We're headed to round number nine. Straight right hand got in a moment ago by Taylor. He started to land that punch a little better. He's putting punches together. Yeah, Broner. And one thing about Broner is there's another right hand. He will be there because he won't move his feet much. Left hook to the body by Broner. Now he showcases that. Has that sapped him a little bit for these later rounds? We'll see. After nine rounds, start landing some really sharp punches. Both fighters have been down on the cap. Very good skills. Overhand right by Emmanuel there, but Broner avoiding the attack. But there's an overhand right that connects. Two flurries could be enough to win the round. Shoe shot Taylor. by Taylor, right, right hand that jolted the head of Broner, and now Taylor going to work. But Broner comes back with a left to the body. Taylor misses with the left uppercut, and Broner too. Oh, good work by Adrian. Point second of it as we go to round 11 in Cincinnati, Ohio. Jab. Got some water here. Taylor really busy with the jab to begin the round. Broner has to turn. Right. And then throw that right hand, and sometimes you have to throw That's it. That's a combo by Broner there. But Broner doing a good job of defending, blocking, but now it's the aggression that left hook effectively. Yes, but the left hook to the head for Taylor. He's landed in this round. It's been a good one, but he's not part well, the action picking up here in the final 35 seconds left took by Taylor. He's got to crank that punch up. If I'm him, I'm going to crank that punch up and throw it to the body and head for the rest of this fight. Oh. Spar. Broner suffering a slight cut of his right eye with 30 seconds left in round 11. Pocket. And in the latter. Oh, oh and that right hand. <laughs> And he needs to. And he's very busy in the first 45 seconds of the round. Broner going to the body with the left. And giving a very good accounting of himself in this fight. And for Adrian Broner, a very good skill shown from both guys. I agree. Broner wanting to uh, create a new move. Oh, oh wow. wow. Broner with the left hook. And Taylor opening oh, punches. Oh, and another shots. punch gets through for Taylor. Coming up on the final oh, minute. Oh, another oh. with the flurry. The fans on their feet at ringside. Technical yes. action, exactly, which is always a pleasure to watch. 20 seconds left. Broner, oh, 